Kettle corn usually consists of just four ingredients, popcorn, sea salt, sugar, and corn oil. But at Angie's Kettle Corn, the recipe also includes a healthy portion of family values. Dan and Angie Bastian started the business 10 years ago as a side venture in order to start a college fund for their two children. But their kettle corn caught on quickly, first with the Minnesota Vikings and then with the team's fans who asked where could they buy the product during the off season. Soon thereafter, Angie's Kettle Corn began appearing on the shelves at Lund's and Byerly's. While Angie's Kettle Corn used to pop 300 bags in four hours on a good day, it can now produce 80,000 bags daily. The company has grown by more than 3,000% in the last five years. One ingredient to the company's success, the Bastions say, was the extended family and community support helping them along the way. When Angie and Dan would go to demo their products, Dan's parents would take care of the kids. When Dan's brother Greg returned to the Twin Cities from Baltimore, he stepped in as CFO. And Dan's father, after he retired from a 50-year career in banking, began making deliveries for Angie's Kettle Corn and is still on the payroll. Others will tell you the ingredient to the Bastion success has been their ability to establish an atmosphere of trust, collaboration, and flexibility throughout their organization. If an employee's child has a game or a school event, they will be the first to tell that person not to miss it. It's pretty important in our family that we're present at our children's activities in support of our kids and whatever it is their, their dream at the moment or their ideas are at the moment because that's kind of how this started. It was our idea, it was our dream. Even as we've grown, we have an atmosphere where our employees can have some flexibility. Family is first here with us at Angel's Kettle Corn, not only for us but for our employees and that's one of the, the perks. Angie's Kettle Corn now employs 130 full-timers and the company still hires high school and college students to travel to events with a kettle and a tent each summer. As it continues to expand and the bastions grow older, succession planning will come into the picture and it's doubtful at this time that their children will take over the business. We were traveling and, you know, hauling everything around and the trip was maybe five and, and we were at the dinner table one night and he said, so why are you guys doing this, this kettle corn thing? And, uh, I, and Dan and I kind of looked at each other and we paused and, and I said, well, you know, because maybe someday when you grow up you can run the business. Uh, the cattle corn business, and, and this is a five-year-old, and he said, no can do, I'm going pro, you know. So, what, what, pro, pro he was a, ba he loved baseball. Okay, so what that did was just like conk me over the head and say, okay, his dreams may not be my dreams, you know, or Dan's dreams. He's got his own ideas, he's got his own life. I think our attitude about that is, let's see what our kids want to do. Our job is to just help them grow in whatever way and direction they want to. Meanwhile, the Bastions remain focused on growing their business to the point where they can give even more back to the community that has been so supportive to them over the years. As we hopefully get our arms around the growth, Angie and I can focus more on you know setting up a foundation or setting up a group where we can give our attention and our resources more to causes that we support. And between now and then, Angie's Kettle Corn is doing everything it can to give back. We're right around 400 organizations that we've supported, which, you know, everybody says, oh, you got to pick, <laughs> you got you to gotta focus. And, and we're not quite, we, we, we know that, we're just not quite ready and we haven't found the right sort of avenue to do that. So for now, that's how we're doing it. We're just gonna kind of wing it, if that's okay. <laughs> I'm Dan, I'm the other half. <laughs> um, okay, so thank you so much. Uh, we are amazed, we never imagined that our small business would turn into something extraordinary, but by God, we're happy it has. And um, it was our family that motivated us to do something um, a little different. And it's not as if we hadn't already kind of established ourselves. I'm a nurse practitioner, Dan is a teacher, and what motivated us is that we wanted to do something together and something fun and something experiential for our children to learn along the way. And that's happened, and we're, we're grateful about that. And we have our kids here tonight. We have Dan's parents. Bernie and Marilyn Bastion here tonight. 
uh, Tripp and Annika are right out there. That he's Tripp has grown now. He looks a lot bigger than in that picture that you saw. He doesn't want to stand up. He <laughs> and we have um, Greg and Jennifer Bastian. Thank God Greg showed up from Baltimore to help us financially. We didn't know a thing about spreadsheets and P and Ls. Um, <laughs> yeah, we did just a few other thank yous. Um, Gene Carpenter who is our uh, PR person for Perce with Perception Inc. I think some of you in the crowd know her. She's been so instrumental in helping us grow. Um, obviously, Twin Cities Business, uh, thank you. And the selection committee, thank you so much. It's such an honor for us. We are flattered, appreciative for the recognition. Um, just, uh, Jones Metal, who's here, congratulations. We work with Jones Metal in Mankato. Mankato. Congratulations <laughs> to them, they're coming in, so great news. Uh, also, um, just wanna touch on Voyager Bank, who is here. There was a time, probably five years ago, when there weren't many banks interested in us. And they took a chance, they were the only ones that were at that time that were willing to take a chance and believed in us. We didn't have much. And uh, we are so appreciative, they all came up from Mankato. I think John Findorf, who is up here in the cities, uh, is here tonight. Um, they were instrumental in helping us launch three, four years ago. So thank you guys. Uh, and last, as Ann said, our family, you know, I think everyone here understands the importance of family. My parents have been incredibly supportive in helping us get to this point with our kids, supporting our kids, supporting us. Uh, Annika and Tripp have been incredibly patient with us because it's been, it's not easy. And uh, if you don't have the family there to support you, uh, it can be difficult. And like Ann said, I just wanna punch one more time, uh, Greg Bastian, who is our right hand man, he's kind of the rock of our company. And he, uh, he's just been so uh, instrumental in our growth as well. So thank everybody here for their constant uh, support. I know at Twins Games, Viking Games, so many of you have been supportive of our company, and we are truly appreciative. Thank you. One more thing. Yeah, the woman always has to have the last word here. Uh, <laughs> sort of. We brought um, uh, samples along in the back, so there's, <laughs> take some with you.